we're moving on to the deckling now. So uh, we've got the information on the back of the box to follow for deckle placement. Um, so you follow the numbers, cut them out. So uh, that'll be what we're doing here. I'm going to start with the roundels. I like to start with um, the larger stuff and then work down into the stencils. So just cut out the roundels. I tend to cut things as, as close as possible, but um, I don't worry too much about the carrier film. I know some people do like to uh, cut it pretty close and try and get rid of as much carrier film as possible, but I don't find it too much of a problem. I also use scissors as well, which not everyone does. for about uh, five seconds is usually pretty good with cartograph uh, decals and then let them soak on the tissue in other videos I've, I've, I have said um, decals and decals I'm gonna stick with decals that's what I know them as as well as transfers but that's uh, definitely wrong so hopefully that's okay where it could be a problem with the carrier film is around the lettering as uh, here for instance this is all one section so this has got clear carrier film in between so it might be worth cutting out the different letters and then around the roundel and then making sure you align the place uh, get the placement aligned correctly so got the marking box there so I'm going to put a bit of water onto the area where the roundels are going roughly there. It's all very much a uh, estimate at the minute. Don't worry too much about getting everything spot on until it's on the actual plane itself. So we'll get the tweezers, chuck the brush around. So not quite ready there on that one, so just let it soak a bit more. How's that? That one's ready. It might need a little bit of persuasion to get it moving and then when you've got it halfway out just slide it out like that and um, I tend to just let it sit there for a minute and then I'll get um, line everything up once I've got the other one on it's a lot easier to sight it in then um, before I do that I will get the next decals to go on I think I'll do the uh, lettering down the side I will leave the carrier film for argument's sake here instead of cutting around I don't tend to find it too much of a problem but as I say it might be an idea if, you, if you're worried to cut into the letters quite tight so I'll just get those soaking before I sort the roundels out in the middle of the ailerons there but we're not on them so just move it up a little bit, put a bit more water make sure everything's fluid stop it from actually sticking down and it's just probably a little bit further over something like that and then try and match it up with this one on this side again it's just off the curve and it's just off the aileron, so something like that, maybe that one down a bit. Looking at this attachment point here for the aileron in the middle on both sides and then using that to try and line it up and then the rest by eye so we're pretty much right I think there. So once that's on like that, I um, like to use a cotton bud to ooh, try not to throw the thing around, uh, just to go over like that, just to force it down. 
and push any of the remaining water and air bubbles. It moves slightly there, so you've got to watch that, obviously. That's because there's a bit of water underneath, so just make sure we're lined up still. I think that's pretty good. Go that way. Try and stop it moving. Um, we are over a little raised detail here. There's a little square that's raised. Um, and that will come on to the setting solution for that. I, I'll apply that once I've got all the big um, decals on. And then when we go around to the stenciling, I'll, um, that will have enough time to eat into it and help it sink down. So this one, we've got to make sure we've got the right ones. Oh dear. Um, so this side is nine. Oh, they're both nine, so there you go, you can't mess this up. It's the same. Whichever side. Need me third hand now. So, this is a little bit of a not necessarily an advisable way to go about it, pulling the decal like that, but you can be quite sure that cartograph decals tend to hold, to hold together quite well, so you don't need to worry too much. So, just we'll just try and get this one in the right spot. So, we've got a G to go on the end of this. Um, I've got a C as well. Well, we'll go with the G, I think. Um, so the V goes down using. Try and use anything on the plane that you can kind of match up with the painting. It's just off of this wheel. There's a rivet, with just to that side of the rivet. So if we do that, it's more or less correct. Then we we'll do the same again on this side. A little bit more water. Get hold of the decal. Just get it off the backing. Right, so this V is just, this is quite a way up here actually. It's just under where the canopy goes. So, and it's got a little bit of a curve going onto the wing join there. So, again, that's where it will help with the setting solution, I think. We're almost all the way up there. And there we go. Um, so now we're trying to get these lined up. And using this back here as well, I don't know if you can see that. Um, we'll see how much it encroaches onto the top of the plane. So we'll start with this one. So you've got to try and get it level, not with how it would be on the undercarriages, it would be level as in flight. And that round all there, it's just behind the mast, so we're correct there. And it's actually right down on the base of the plane. I get that. So, something like that there. And then this one, of course, try not to touch it. Want you whilst we're doing this. Um, again, that one comes down a little bit like that. So, we're uh, good old trick with the cotton bud again. It just helps it get on the way to settling down and stopping any problems. Again, with that amount of carrier film, there may be issues with air bubbles and then that obviously leads, leads to silvering, which we try and avoid. Uh, but we've got a nice glossy surface, so I'm pretty happy to think that it will, uh, it shouldn't get too many problems. Just a final check there. Possibly up a bit. Uh, that's a bit better. Again, I'm not worrying too much. This is all by eye. Right, so that's fine. I think that's the main ones for the top of the aircraft. So I am going to take this moment to put a bit of micro set on. This is um, micro set and micro sole. They go together quite well. These are uh, decal setting solutions. We start with micro micro set. That um, <coughs> these all soften the de soften the decals and um, let them conform to the contours of the model. 
micro set is the one you start with. That that works its way into the decal and starts to get the process going. And then you can come on with micro sole afterwards to uh, try and get it go to go, try and get the decal to go down further if you need more. Um, if you need it to adhere more, I think this micro set helps it actually stick to the model. So you don't want too much. This is this can eat into the paint as well. So you don't want to do, you know, put tons on. It's just a little bit like that, just to get the process going. You can always put on more layers if we need to, and then we'll just run it on there. So as you can see, we've got a few wrinkles in all of that carrier film, uh, which would be quite good for this process to show you. And this will start to, it, it can initially make the decal shrivel up, but don't be alarmed, you know, you might need to leave this stuff overnight once you've done the process with the micro set and sole all together. And you'll find it will, it will sink right into the panel lines and everything. The more um, the more coats you put on, the better it eats into any details. So that's what we want. We want a painted on look. So that's what it's helping us with. Right, so that's those. So unfortunately, uh, the camera stopped halfway through. So I've moved on a little bit with the uh, decaling, but um, we haven't missed too much. I've added the yellow square up here and the covers for the gun barrels. Also, uh, I've put um, the G on. I, don't, I think we missed that bit. So now we're on to the tail. Um, and we're going to put on... This is number 11. Which is not for this side. So we've got number 10. These have been sitting a bit too long while I've been sorting out the camera. But it uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. And they go right up into the corner there. Again, I've forgotten to wet the area. So... Just make sure it's nice and damp, and then we can move everything around. So, a nice little bit where this fits into. Like that. And then over the other side. Do the same again. Sit down. Like so, and then we got the little hexagonal bit which is folded up on me. This is why you're not you shouldn't really pick them up, it's better to brush them off of the carrier film. Luckily these are pretty good decals, so you can get away with it. I'll do it here. I'll use the brush. I'll just pick it up with the brush instead of the tweezers, and it should stay, should stop from folding in on itself like that. Then you can just place it where you want it. And that's with a flat top, so that's the thing to remember there. We've got to make sure that symbol has a flat top. It's just about there. Okay, and now I'm running out of places to hold it. I've just touched the cover for the gun barrels there. Now this has got too much moisture on it, so I'll just pull a bit off of that and then Now I can hold it on those, so let's do that. So that's about right. That's the problems you can have if you put too much water on. Everything moves around before you can get rid of the excess and before it dries. Just realign everything there. Round to this one. And 
now let them dry off a bit before we use the micro set. Quite important to try and make sure everything's straight and lined up nicely. Quite happy with that. And if we look at it from that side, everything should sort of be in level. So I think what we missed, um, I'll go over it again and then uh, if there's any problem, uh, I might have repeated it a little bit or I could hopefully cut it all out. So we've got, I'm using here Micro Set and Micro Subtle and these are very good setting solutions for decals and make them conform to the uh, conform to the surface so all of the panel lines, all of the ridges, this being the Hurricane's got quite a good fabric detail so it's lots of ridges really helps the decals sink in and eat into that I mean especially with these roundels there's a uh, square panel which is coming through them quite nicely so so far I've applied micro set to all of these and we're working on the larger decals at the minute which is what I like to do and uh, everything on the top side and then we'll go on to the underside we've got another two roundels and actually in this case it looks like all of the stencils are on the underside so that's uh, quite useful and any that are on the top we will then put on once we've got the ones on the underneath done so we don't have to handle it all the time and then these will help it set it so uh, I've applied the micro set and that helps everything just start to uh, adhere. I need to apply the micro set to the rear bit, so we'll do that. It doesn't go off very quick with the micro set. It's when you start applying the micro sole that um, you need to make sure everything's lined up then, really, because that can soften the decal to such an extent that you can't move it once you've done it. Right, that's not right, is it? Right, flat top. Yes, very much get the lids on to these because these bottles go over for a pastime. And that can be quite a problem. So make sure everything's lined up there. I think that's looking pretty good. Again, I've touched those gun covers. I probably shouldn't have put those on. That's another thing you can do. You can plan your um, deckling that if you've got something in a high contact area, like here on the front of the wing, obviously you shouldn't have put those on because you'll forever be... Um, catching them. But that's fine. Right, and we just overlap there on the fin. So we need to make sure that part here, where these two bits of decal overlap, we just want them to join so it's almost like it's gone over. That's fine. So now I'm going to start with the micro sole, and I'll probably do three coats of this on every decal, but with a bit of a longer interval in the drying and this will start to make the decal shrivel which is all fine it will make it quite um, soft so like I said you, you really want to make sure everything's where you want it when you start to apply this stuff and try not to catch it and knock it over uh, because you won't be able to move the decal very much once you started to the process with this so that's on the roundels and then we we'll go back lettering on the side. There's a lot of carrier film on this so we're going to be concentrating on this area specifically to try and make sure that goes away and, and, and conforms quite well. As I said in the early part, earlier part um, you could quite easily have cut around those letters but I've left this on to try and see what we can achieve by leaving it on there. Now you can see the way I'm, I'm being a little bit rough, that's what Microset does. It helps to make sure the decal adheres to the surface. It's not so much about conforming to the surface, it's the it's it's making it stick there. And then I can be quite rough with this micro sole now, and this really eats into it and should here, for instance, we should get quite a strong line going through where it's sunk into the panel line. And at the end of <coughs> the fur treatment. We can run across there with a knife and then that will make sure it really goes in there. So It's very good stuff this, I use it all the time. We're deckling here onto a gloss surface as well, so 
shouldn't be any silvering and everything should be working really nicely. Now on here you can see, well I mentioned this in the part that we've missed, um, I didn't want to use too much here because I don't want to, um, I'm trying to get it so it's gun covers before they fired. Now obviously if I go over here with micro sole it's going to really sink into the gun barrels so I need to push through them to make sure we see them because it would obviously either be you'd either see them or they'd be covered so I'm gonna to have to change what I'm doing here a little bit and I will apply them and then we'll poke through the holes so that they've been fired slight bit of misalignment there we're a bit too far over I'm not covering this hole here but that's fine I'm not gonna to worry too much about that uh, it's already dried here on the roundels and they're starting to shrivel up now I like to get another coat of this on once it's dried so do two quite quick coats of the micro sole and then the third one goes on when it's all started to work and actually really conform quite well gotta make sure that we don't use too much because it can damage the paintwork it won't in this case where I've used a lacquer gloss, uh, a lacquer clear coat which is as hard as nails but if you're using an acrylic one or even a water based one then you can get problems so you don't want to work the area too much you just want to be light light coats passing over with a nice soft brush and not scrubbing the surface or anything you shouldn't have any problems then the other way to get around this carrier film if it does show is uh, we're going to put a gloss coat over these once uh, once we're happy with them and that should seal in that carrier film then and then when we put a matte coat over at the end uh, you shouldn't see it so there's it's not to worry if you start to get problems in the deckling stage just keep going through with the correct processes and try not to move the deckle that one's going on, I'm get, going on this a bit too soon after the micro set so it hasn't actually stuck yet, that's the problem I always tend to do this, I tend to work a little bit fast faster than what the stuff needs, it's still wet there so actually we won't do that, we'll, we'll do this properly so that there is everything apart from the tail and the fin has had um, two coats of micro set and two coats of micro sole with a further coat of micro sole as a rule tend to work in three <coughs> obviously if the um, decals still need more then it can have more coats you can have as many coats as this as you want really until you get to the uh, finish that you want 